Hello, my name is Kathy Trilly, and we are here to talk about infection control at the next KMOM. The environment at a mom event is considerably different than a private dental office, so we want to take action so that we make sure that all of the patients and volunteers stay healthy and are protected. First of all, from infectious diseases. And we also want to make sure that all the patient care items are safe for use. There are several differences, and so the American Dentist Care Foundation has taken this into consideration by providing us with suction that's twice as strong as what you might find in your dental office. The air is uh, medically clean through our air system, and there's distilled water at every operatory. We also have uh, signs and briefings, and you'll be updated on infection control guidelines once you arrive on site and there is a hydrogen peroxide solution rinse at the end of your procedure that we'll definitely want to make you aware of. In the next few minutes, we'd like to cover some very important items to help you stay protected during the mom event. Everyone, first of all, should have a hepatitis B vaccine, and a flu vaccine is highly recommended. All dental care professionals must wear gloves when treating patients, when putting your hands into the mouth of a patient, when touching contaminated surfaces and supplies or any equipment. If you have special gloving needs, you may want to bring your own, but they will be provided for all the volunteers. Overgloving and finger cots are prohibited. Because sinks are not available at the dental units at KMOM, we will be using a alcohol hand scrub to use uh, when gloving and degloving. We want to make sure that everyone places a drop into the palm of their hand and covers the hands completely, rubbing your hands and fingers together until the hand gel is completely dry. Remember, we should be using the gel before gloving, after gloving, when uh, you have patient contact, whenever you have a torn or worn glove, be sure and re-glove uh, after you've used the hand gel. Face masks or chin length face shields should be worn when treating patients and it's to protect you from the splatter from hand pieces, from profi angles, or the air water syringe. Eye protection must have eye shields on the sides to protect the eyes and must be disinfected between patients. Patients will all wear safety glasses and these are provided by KMOM. Protective clothing and especially scrub tops are recommended for patient treatment. It's also recommended that you wear hard soled shoes to protect your feet. The clinic may be hotter or colder than a private office, so be aware of the weather inside the building. All items able to withstand heat are sterilized. There are disinfection wipes at your table that you can use to wipe off the instruments before returning them to the cassette. Instruments should not be held at the dental units. When you are finished using them, transport them to the sterilization area. You'll be given more guidelines on transportation of contaminated uh, instruments when you're on site. If you choose to bring your own personal instruments, you may take them to the sterilization area and they will tell you how to label them and where to pick them up when they are ready. American Dentistry Care Foundation staff will be disinfecting and cleaning all the water lines at the beginning and end of each day. Just as in your own dental office, be sure and run some water through the air water syringe and the ultrasonic unit before use for a few seconds. Please keep the suction tips up when not in use. When placing the suction tip into the patient's mouth, turn it on and do not let the patient form a seal around the suction tip. Remove the suction tip from the patient's mouth before you turn it off. And also one last tip before turning it off, play, hold up the suction tips and then turn the switch off. There will be solutions in Dixie cups of hydrogen peroxide for you to run through both the high vac suction and the small saliva ejector after each patient use. When you're finished at the chair, clean and disinfect your unit, leaving the wipes on the seat of the chair, and that will tell the next professional that the chair is ready to have a new barrier and be ready to, then to be prepared for the next patient. Thank you, and have a great K-Mom experience.